Less than two days' time, efforts to raise money to help with the funeral expenses of five small children is almost halfway to its goal. But there's still plenty which needs to be done for helping Amy Acevedo, who's improved to fair condition. First News senior reporter Jerry Ricciuti has more. With each passing day, there are more stuffed animals, balloons, and candles being left at memorials outside Amy Acevedo's home in Youngstown. While the woman continues her recovery in a Cleveland hospital, fundraising is ongoing here at home to help pay for the funerals of her five children. We've received, I think, well over $4,000 on, on Facebook. We've also received donations uh, through our Sojourn to Pass website. The fundraising began Monday morning as investigators were still going through the house on Park Cliff looking for a cause of the fire the night before. Wells tells me her sojourn to the past operates as a 501c3 charity, adding no tax dollars are being spent here. She hopes to collect at least $10,000 to offset funeral costs and then donate the rest to the Acevedos. We're talking about even clothes. You know, the, the family was left with, with nothing, so we're, we're talking about the whole gambit. As we've been telling you, a pasta dinner is scheduled this Tuesday to raise even more money, and Wells says businessman and one-time Ohio State player Maurice Claret is pitching in. In fact, I just got a, a text a few minutes ago. He's providing much of the uh, pasta and, the, you know, the sauce. In the meantime, Wells says Acevedo and her family simply need the community's support. People just need to pray. I think that we just need to pray for this family. For more information on making donations, simply go to our website. In Youngstown, Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.